So hopping right into it, in 1993 they produced billions of these coins for the no mint mark over 5 billion and then for the D mint mark over 6 billion. So very, very common coins. But some of these coins have sold for some good money. Here's a 1993 D. Now this one is graded at a mint state 68 red. So it is a very high grade. If you guys are not familiar with coin grading, just go to YouTube, type in Couch Collectibles Coin Grading. I have like three different videos on that. That way you guys can understand how coin grading works a little better. Now coin grading scale only goes up to 70. This one's at a 68, so nearly a perfect coin. And that's why this penny sold for over $135. Here's a regular 1993 no mint mark. And this one is graded at an even higher grade, a mint state 68. And because of that high grade, this penny sold for over $430. So that grade has a lot to do with the coin's value. If you guys just find 1993 pennies in your pocket change and they have scratches and things like that, they're only gonna be worth their face value of one cent. Now here is an error penny that's sold on eBay. Now this coin hasn't been graded by a coin grading company or anything like that. It just sold on eBay as is, and I would love to have something like this in my coin collection. I personally do not have one of these. I do have some error coins, but not this extreme. This is a 1993 error penny coin, and it sold for a little over $20 on eBay. Can't forget about the high graded 1993 S mint mark San Francisco minted proof penny. Now this one's graded by PCGS at a perfect grade, a proof 70 deep cameo. Like I said, the coin grading scale only goes to 70. This is graded at a 70, so it is a perfect coin, and this penny sold for over $660. I know it's a super short video. Be watching out for the live streams. Click the bell on my channel. That way you guys can be notified when I go live, and until tomorrow, I will see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.